Hi guys! Drone video provides us with distinctively new ways of looking at the world. Not long ago, there was no way for the ordinary citizen to view life from above. Drones, however, provide almost everyone with reasonably cheap and open bird's eye views. YouTube is full of incredible scenic aerial footage and other drone eye candy. But you'll find some pretty odd drone videos out there as well. YouTube offers shocking drone videos, from clowns in unforeseen locations to a too-close shark encounter to a sobering tour of Chernobyl. Ominous music also adds to the disturbing atmosphere. These videos may be hoaxes, but, but all too true are many of the creepiest items filmed by drones. So if the drones did not capture the below-mentioned events, none would believe this. Please keep watching and you should hit the like button and subscribe to watch fantastic videos to enhance your knowledge. Bigfoot in Ohio In the Pacific Northwest, Bigfoot sightings are common, but Salt Fork State Park in Ohio allegedly boasts its own Sasquatch. Since the mid-80s, the story-like, ape-like creature, a rumored resident of Buckeye State since the Civil War, has been seen almost 40 times in the park. In 2017, while flying his craft over the park, a drone pilot claimed Bigfoot and has the footage to prove it. Look to the screen's left in the video to see a black figure with arms raised at the 149 mark. But is this a Sasquatch or just a roaming hiker? Clown in a cornfield All right, all right, so we're not sure how this can be clarified. It seems like a teenager in Huntsville, Alabama was filming the landscape of a cornfield through a drone. His drone effortlessly takes off over the low grass field and passes through the surrounding forests. The drone then enters and flies the length of the cornfield. All of a sudden, a clown-like figure is seen standing in the center of the cornfield. The face appears to be embellished with clown makeup, and a brightly colored t-shirt appears to be the torso. The clown starts running quickly and disappears into the woods as the drone gets closer. The drone operator has not followed through, perhaps fearing the drone's safety. In itself, the picture is disturbing. Imagine coming across a cornfield clown. However, given that there are a few houses near the cornfield, it might be staged rendering the existence of any paranormal activity impossible. Volcano in Vanuatu Given that the drone is floating over a well of one of the hottest fluids you've possibly known of, magma, this is somewhat alarming. But I have to confess that it is one of the coolest things the drone is capable of shooting. There's a tiny bit of history. The world is made up of a few layers. The innermost layer of the planet, the inner core, is around 7,000 to 8,000 degrees Celsius in temperature. The outermost layer is around 0 to 870 degrees Celsius. In their attempt to better understand the crater's dimensions and habitat, these scientists lost many drones. Some drones were not able to endure the heat and dropped into the lava's mouth. Just imagine standing next to a volcano. One wrong move and the fate of some of those drones is going to make you suffer. Gray Whale this picture of a whale hanging around and below a pair of Laguna Beach swimmers. A whale? You would have said. Yes, but it's a massive gray whale. But unlike killer whales, it normally doesn't eat mammals. Instead of resorting to beneath crustaceans and other small prey, gray whales are layered with parasites and various other species, but not apparent underwater, giving them the appearance of a crusty ocean rock. Gray whales use their baleen to sift through their food, a comb-like structure. But these facts don't come to mind when you're floating around and spot a whale nearby. Just a gut-wrenching reaction takes place. A ghost in a white dress. It is rumored that the black-eyed children of Kennock Chase Forest in Staffordshire, England, are the ghosts of those who succumbed in the 1800s to an epidemic of diphtheria. It is often said that they are the victims of Raymond Morris, who in the 1960s took the lives of many children. Kennock Chase is allegedly fraught with paranormal activity, and one of the Kennock Chase ghosts may have been captured by a quadcopter drone as it flew past. See how easily a young girl in a white dress can be identified. Saving acres of harvest from getting burned 
A brave farmer named Eric Howard jumps in his tractor and heads straight for the action when a freak thunderstorm sets his large hayfield on fire in Weld Nation, Colorado. He has a wild aircraft which, if all goes well, is about to greatly help firefighters contain the 30-acre blaze. Eric quickly carves a long path across the field, thinking fast to prevent the fire from spreading. It's a firefighting technique called a fire line, which is where the topsoil is removed so that less material can be burned. He can barely keep ahead of the inferno and the dancing flames rise high enough to melt the paint off his rusty tractor all the time. And Eric is created for his gusty scheme by firefighters, who possibly saved additional acres from going up in flames. In this case, let me know what you would do, and whether you thought Eric should have left it to the professional. An Identified Flying Object Explosion A Predator fighting drone performs a routine patrol when something large and swift unexpectedly crosses its airspace. What appears to be some unidentified flying object streaks in a gigantic burst of white light through the drone. To search the area, the drone turns around, but whatever zoomed past is long gone. No more video has been retrieved, sadly. I don't know if this video's lack of detail is an indication that it's fake, or if it just means that the military is actually not saying something. The unidentified flying object could be CGI, but outside of that probability, the first contact with very technologically advanced extraterrestrials could be very well what you are seeing. Captured flawless, symmetrical marks in the middle of nowhere. A YouTuber named Run Gun Griff is a drone enthusiast who explores on his channel several exotic locations. Most of his videos are filmed on tropical islands, but this one was short on a rural location that is difficult to locate, simply describing it as being in the middle of nowhere. You can see that Run Gun Griff and his friends are standing in the center of a large field of crops, covered in a series of odd markings, and his drone flies higher. In their geometry, the symbols themselves are precisely symmetric and highly precious. Their designs look strikingly similar and seem to have no visible differences, indicating that humans have not designed them. I assume it would be possible to do this with farm machinery, but there is no justification for farmers to ventilize their own fields. And there are absolutely no design flaws. I think there's a good chance that something extraterrestrial has made this happen. If you think these crop circles are human-made or extraterrestrial in nature, if you recognize any of the symbols from any literature, movies, or video games, I desperately want to know where they come from. Let me know. Somebody is definitely standing there, but after that, he or she literally dematerialized. Chris Lamb, a YouTuber, claims he was alone when he shot this drone footage at Fort McClellan, Alabama, but he says otherwise in this video. You can see clearly that, in the beginning, nobody is in the background. But only a moment later, when Chris stabilizes the camera, you can see someone standing by the street. There's not enough time for anyone to step behind the house, so they're already there. Did you also see how, in plain sight, they seem to disappear instantly? I see no editing cuts, so I have no idea at all how this dark silhouette managed to disappear like that. And there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get the regular updates to watch more such informative videos.